Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to go over or just experiment with uh, Blender particles. Now if you were trying to learn uh, Blender particles with my old 2.4 uh, tutorials, I'm sorry it's just not going to work. In Blender 2.5 and in even uh, more recent 2.4 versions, the particle system has completely changed. And it's completely different. Uh, they've made a lot of great uh, changes to make it faster, make render quicker, uh, a whole lot more options and settings. Um, and it's just basically a completely different uh, thing than when I first did a tutorial on it. So now we're just going to play it around uh, with the different options that we have um, and hopefully you'll learn something. So uh, we're going to get rid of the splash screen. Just click to get rid of that, hit the X button, hit the delete because we will not be using the default queue. So today we're just going to be playing around with a simple plane. So we're just going to add view top spacebar, add plane, like in the last tutorial, and there we go. Now hit S and make it a little bit bigger, so two. So from there, we want to add a modifier. So we click on this little wrench looking button right here. Add modifier, go down to particle system. Click on that, kind of minimize it, don't worry about it. So, now that we have a particle system applied to our plane, uh, now we will have little particles, which are just like little dots, uh, uh, applied to it, and so they'll just kind of randomly, magically appear uh, out of the plane. So if we have Alt-A, we can see an instance of this. We can see uh, the little uh, dots, or little particles appearing and falling down uh, kind of like rain through the plane. So there is a million different ways um, you can use particles. That's why I said we will be more uh, experimenting uh, with particles because there is no definite way to do particles. As you can see here, uh, you can use it uh, kind of to look like uh, rain, uh, snow, you can texture it to make it look like confetti, there's there's a million possible, um, you can use it, um, if you really play with it, you can make it look like fire, um, there's just a million things uh, that you can texture and edit the settings uh, to make particles do what you want. So, um, while I've been talking, you can see the particles falling down here, we can change a bunch of settings to make these particles do different things. So if we go over here to the particles tab, uh, you uh, it's it's now its own section in uh, Blender 2.5. Uh, it was a sub a section in other versions. We can just kind of go down the different uh, options that we have here. So starting from here, we can set the under the admissions uh, portions. We can set uh, very important things like the amount of particles uh, that we want, um, which just says it right there, amount. Um, so you can change it. Right now we have it set at a thousand particles. So if you were to sit here for a very long time and try to count all these particles, uh, in total there would be a thousand of these little particles that come off of the this plane right here. So we can greatly increase this to something like 3,000 and as you can see there um, a lot more particles start falling off that uh, little plane there and this changes this change happens instantaneously something that really didn't happen uh, in Blender 2.4 uh, so that's among the uh, improvements in Blender 2.5 and up is just the uh, instant kind of preview that you can see uh, with the particles and I can hit alt left mouse button to kind of rotate around and see this from all different angles so uh, there's other options here start and end 
Uh, these are the frame numbers for the start and end. Uh, by default, when you open up Blender, uh, you go from 1 to 250 frames. Uh, right here, it's set to 1, start frame 1, and then we end at frame 200. So since we're just playing with this, we don't want a blank space of uh, 50 frames. So let's just move this up to 250. Hit Enter. Um, then you have this uh, lifetime option, which basically uh, sets the quote unquote lifetime for each particle, how much uh, each little particle exists. So right now it's set at 50, which is this is also a frame number. Um, so it's 50 frames uh, from when the particle starts to when it just disappears. See, these particles down, go down for quite a while. Uh, so we can change this to something like 5 and hit enter um, and as you can see the particles don't last for very long so they don't even get it uh, get below uh, the little plane area after they're created so if we do something like uh, 15 you can see um, they kinda come off the plane and then uh, they disappear right at after 15 seconds that they uh, came off of the plane so 15 frames after they came off the plane and uh, according to the default settings, uh, it's around 24, 25 frames per second. So this is uh, lasting for just uh, over uh, a half a, a second uh, for each little particle here. Um, you can see the options here, emit from. So right now we just have a plane, so that's just one face. So we're just emitting it from our faces. Um, now we can kind of change these options when we had more faces and it would do a lot more but right now when we only have one plane with one face uh, it's not gonna do that much uh, just uh, editing uh, these options here um, you can emit from the different vertices and uh, when you have more complex objects that you're uh, emitting particles from then you would uh, mess around with these uh, different settings so, we can use a scroll bar to go down a little bit more and look at some of these other um, options that we have here. For example, um, if we, this is the velocity at which the little particles are shooting out at the top of this uh, plane right here. So I change this to two and as you can see they are going a little bit higher. Uh, than they were before. Uh, so let's actually go back up here, make the particles last a little bit longer. So change this back to 50. And as you can see, they fall all the way down. So let's go back to the velocity, add a little bit more velocity that they're kind of thrust out of uh, this uh, plane right here. So let's change that to, I don't know, 10. And as you can see, they fly um, straight out of this plane here. Um, so it kind of looks like a waterfall now. Um, and that's actually what you can uh, texture uh, and add materials to make that look like uh, if you wanted to make a waterfall in Blender. Um, so you can uh, just change the uh, kind of the velocity to kind of throw those little particles out uh, faster and faster. Um, you can also uh, edit the plane itself. Um, and change this to R. I just hit R and left mouse button to kind of rotate uh, the plane. So now it's shooting out uh, our little particles or if it, we wanted this to be a stream of water then it would shoot out um, the stream of water in this particular direction uh, wherever we have our plane angle. As you can see I'm just changing the angle constantly and it's uh, just throwing out uh, the particles in that direction. Alright, um, there's just a million options here, I'm telling you. Um, we can adjust uh, the random, uh, spit out the uh, particles here a little bit more randomly, angular velocity, initial rotation, all these kind of, and then more physics options that you can set. So, 
like I said, there is a lot of things uh, that you can do with particles in. Really, I can't teach you it all in a short tutorial. We'd have to be here for hours, and I know you don't want that. So, I encourage you to just go into Blender, put a plane like I just did, apply the particle to it, and just play around with all the different options you have. Um, and also, you can go into the materials just like I showed you before, and you can uh, make the blue particles uh, look however you want them to. So, really, this is uh, not me teaching you everything, but this is a little bit more hands on to kind of play with all the different options there really is uh, for particles. Well, really, that's it for this tutorial. Before you sign off, um, I will be in IRC if you guys would like to talk to me. Um, we are on Freenode, Nistic, underscore, chat, um, or if you just want to use a web client, chat.nistic.com. I'll be there all week taking your questions, suggestions, everything. Um, if you have questions, suggestions, um, I'm not just leaving it to the forum shoot me a, a YouTube message or leave a comment below. Um, I'm really opening for questions and tutorial suggestions uh, and ways I should go. Uh, also, don't forget Christmas uh, contest, uh, Blender contest with a prize, anything you want in the Blender store. So hit up that link right in the description uh, if you would like to give that contest a try and try out some of the stuff you learned in this tutorial and others. All right, well, that's Super 3 Boy uh, signing out for this tutorial, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.